First off, if you make it to the end of this video, God bless you, because we're talking about some of the worst intros and most common mistakes I have seen on YouTube. How many times have you heard this? What's up, guys? My name is Trevor Taylor, and I'm here today to talk about... Or how many times have you seen this? Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to Trevor's channel. Or how many times have you heard this? Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about I'm guilty of this one in the extreme. I do that one all the time. It's, it's a lazy way to start your video. So why is this? Why do we not want to do these things? Because people really don't care who you are. They care what you have to say. They care about the advice that you have to offer and the volume or the words that you have to give. I'm here already. I sort of know who you are. I saw your channel. I saw your profile picture on your channel. I saw your channel name. I saw the thumbnail and the title of your video. That's all that people care about. They're looking at that thumbnail. They're scrolling. They see the thumbnail. Then they read the title. The video auto plays. And that's all they need to know to click on your video. Because people watch dozens and dozens of videos. And think about it. You and I watch video content all the time. We watch video content every day. We already kind of know when we click on something. If you've done your job right. If you've done your thumbnail and title work, if you've made a good intro, then you've already done your work. People are going to watch that video. They're going to be like, oh, I kind of know what this is about already. Click on it. And then you just need to deliver on that thing that you promised them. Like, this video is about intros. So as long as I mention or show intros early on, and I come up with something that's engaging, that's enough. Saying, what's up, guys? So-and-so here, and today we're going to talk. Nobody cares who you are. Nobody wants to know who you are. Like, they'll, they'll learn who you are over time by watching your content. Here are some tips and tricks to have a good intro. Start with a relatable question or a relatable problem. Start with a challenge. So I started this video by saying, if you make it to the end of this video, I'll be impressed. Because we're going to be going over X. Do you see how I very cleverly kind of buried the lead? Or how many times have you heard this? That's another way of starting your video because it's a problem that people see again and again and you're like, oh, I've seen that a lot. Something that somebody can relate to very quickly. And then, of course, you know, there's the classic cutaway gag of like, ah, you know, like a big spooky clip or like a spider coming at you. But you can see like things coming at you. Like there's that classic TikTok clip of the baseball bat with the baseball coming flying at you. There's a ton of these quick intro things to catch your attention and focus you in so that then you're going to continue watching. The worst thing that you can do, and every major YouTuber does this, MKBHD does this, there's so many other YouTubers who do this, they have some like weird logo that sweeps into their content and it's like, look at how professional I look. You don't need it. Don't do that. Just Start with the content, be engaging, and keep the content going. That's all that people care about, so don't introduce yourself. I never want to see a logo sweep into your screen. Yeah, it makes you look more professional, but guess what? It also takes people away from the content that you're going to talk about. And I don't want to see any more lazy intros, and honestly, this is advice for me as much as it is for you, because I always say, today we're going to talk about X. That's a little lazy, and it's something that we can work on. So relatability, asking a question is a great way to engage people. Some kind of action shot where something's exploding at you or coming at you or sucking you in. Something entertaining. A, a lot of vloggers do this. Like, if you look up murder mystery vloggers or what have you, you know, it would be like the darkest mansion in the universe. And that video's about the darkest mansion or what have you. And... And you're like, you open a door and crawl through a long, sprawling hallway. I'm already enthralled, right? I already want to know everything. But nobody's told me anything about what the video is going to be about. I just saw a thumbnail that said the darkest mansion ever. The video never said, hey, guys, we're going to talk about the darkest mansion. No, it threw you into it. So the next time you start your video, I want you to ask yourself a question. How am I throwing people into my content? Are they getting fully immersed? Are they understanding what my video is about? How did they get there? They got there because they saw the thumbnail. They saw the title. They went, oh, that's interesting. The video auto-played. And they said, that looks about right. So they already know what your video is going to be about. They have a general idea of 
So now you need to deliver on just pulling them into the content, which is not, hey, what's up, guys? But I'm playing the scariest game I've ever played today, and good lord, cut away, right? I cut away to some clip of me being absolutely terrified, and as you can see, you're watching B-roll of me being terrified. I'm really scared. This is going to be an exciting experience. That's, way, that's a way that you can layer B-roll on top of your video to make things more interesting. Hopefully that helps. If it doesn't, that's really good for the end of the video. We can just have that play on a loop for the end screen. But yeah, give these tactics a try. I hope this was an interesting and again, very quick rant on how to do intros well. But give that a try and see if it improves your retention. See if it staves off that drop-off. B-roll can really help too. Having cutaways in B-roll, things that swipe in and off screen, especially at the beginning of your video, can really help things stay engaging. Because if you sit too long on a talking head, people have a tendency to kind of turn away. Something to think about for sure. All right, gang, that's my time. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Bye.